Happy Highland Coffee Days. The Highland Coffees. You remember times when when you drink your coffee from the mountains? Well, I don't. And that's what Highland Helix Highland Coffee is going to do for you. Create new memories. I don't watch a lot of coffee commercials. I don't know what the, what what's the how do they try to sell coffee to you? Is it like a you know that nice deep soothing voice that makes you feel like somehow if you drink this coffee you're gonna feel as calm and as soothing as the voice that's telling you to drink the coffee is there a coffee establishment that's like like super realistic about it like hey drink our coffee you want to know why you want to drink our coffee because it tastes all right it's not that bad you're gonna put milk and sugar in it but also you won't get that headache because you're you're ingesting caffeine so drink it to avoid the headache of not having caffeine in your system because you've drink You've gotten too used to coffee. You need it now. And because you need it, we don't need to try hard. Here, drink it. Drink it up, bozo. <laughs> I think I would buy that coffee. Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to, I believe this is episode 13. I'll put in a correction if I'm wrong. Our, oh, what's, we got a drought incoming. Isn't great. Kind of wish it was a bad tide, actually, so I can make sure I have, um, power coming in because that is kind of going to be the main focus is building up this stuff and then building up my power just because i ran out of power before and having a lot of uh, bots doing my factory work means that i don't have any kind of breaks for gathering power like this stuff this uh you know strongest shape uh dam that i'm getting together uh, that's pretty low priority these guys are essentially done with their job. Maybe I could start kind of getting them, getting them building Pinnacle. What exactly Pinnacle is going to look like, I have no idea. I don't know if I'm going to like fully, fully um, platform out this area. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about what's going on here. I kind of have, uh, I kind of want to get the coffee done, but getting the coffee area done is going to compete with the, you know, other projects. Man, oh man, what? are going to be my priorities oh i have i forgot to look into this i have a lot of unemployed beavers i forgot to give them more jobs where am i going to put another hauling post kind of hard to find a, a place over here i mean i could just kind of continue to butt it up against this area let me actually just get this get the 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 coffee area cleared out maybe just behind here if i get I get stairs down here and then delete this uh these little dead trees maybe i can get just uh shove some some platforms up here and get another tavern or sorry another uh, hauling post probably not the best place to put it but it's a place to put it um i also need to think about getting another number cruncher probably okay now i have three excess bots also i have to be mindful of my gears so that's a bot now, and that's also a bot. That's essentially all of my current factories being bots. Oh, no, one more guy. And you can go ahead and be a bot. Um, that and canola. I need to get more canola planted. I could get canola planted over here. Have these guys blow out this area. I think I might, I might just get that going for these guys. Get them to start planting some dynamite so they can start blowing out this area and wait on this dynamite to get placed. Also want this to get done. It's a lot to juggle. It's a lot to juggle and it's a lot to make sure that it's, you know, I think, I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't trying to make a YouTube video about this. I don't know what, I would just kind of let this happen. Just let this go. Uh, but I'm not sure. I could also just continue to push out this this little section that i was pull, pulled out for the um soybean but i actually don't know how much more influence i really have how much more uh how much more length that this uh, farmer could actually reach hmm <laughs> i think this is fine i think if this starts growing more canola hopefully it will ship this into this area where they can turn it into oil uh and then i just need to build another farmer I can just, you know, take over another little, you know, small little patch of pine. Won't be a big deal. 
these guys are gathering up all my excess gear as well. Oh, did that not get... That didn't get its priority up. This got all done. Let me get some platforms in here. Let me boost that up. And let me get another hauling post with a low priority. And get that uh, built quickly. And let me speed up all of that. And hopefully that can get done pretty soon to get some of these. Oh my gosh. I've got. Turn this into 10. Let me actually get another set of platforms in here. Get that built. And let me get another builder's hut as well. This would be high priority, low priority work. Detonate all that. That gets blown up. That gets blown up. That gets blown up. And I can tear this down, tear this down. Oh, you let that guy get off of that little uh, raised area. Get rid of that. Set all this dynamite. I should have enough stored goods that they're going to continue to make progress on, on this little area on my power. So I'm not too worried about the drain that's going to happen. I mean, I, I'm going to drain more than likely. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with creating enough new gravity batteries to help solve the issue of the power drain, but I might as well start putting in more. Cool. Put in a couple more. It's continuing to feed the beast of the uh, power. All of this, what party is that? I'll give that a, a little boost. Okay, all of these charges are set. So what is my current, oh, this needs to get done too. What is my current, probably best situation or best, uh, you know, it's not that important. I was trying to, I was trying to think of what would be the most like optimal why can't I put, there you go. What would be the most optimal like way to set that up to make the most out of the mountain coffee area? But I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna be too, uh, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be too, uh, too much of a stickler about it. Cause I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant the bushes and get a bunch of bushes planted and then unplant them or uh, unset the planting boundary to see if they will just grow. So more than likely, I think I could just, as long as I have them in each quadrant, they'll plant them and then I can have gatherers. Cause I'm pretty sure that's who, that's who picks up the coffee would be gatherers. So as long as the gatherers can go and reach all these areas, I can put a gatherer here and probably here. I can just keep those guys paused. I just need the building there so I don't have to go in later and delete and find a good spot for them. So delete this little upper part. Yeah, and this this should store enough water for me, for me and these uh, these plants up here to live nice, fruitful, happy Highland coffee days. They are the Highland coffees. You remember times when when you drink your coffee from the mountains? Well, I don't. And that's what Highland Helix Highland Coffee is going to do for you. Create new memories. We don't rely on memberries. We remind, uh, we rely on mem new memories. I, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, anyway, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. but yeah, uh, I mean, this forester is doing this a little bit of diligence to get up here. Uh, let me get this guy kicked up actually. So you can get that done and over with cool that's all taken care of let's get a couple more coffee bushes planted so they don't have to grow wild too much at least give that whole area a nice little kick kick to their wildness kind of like what i did here with the pines where i only you know set a few and then i just kind of let them grow and do their business and do their thing what's my power storage look like draining pretty healthily this is getting planks. That was probably like my big dip in gears that I saw earlier was all of my power storage being made. 
cool. What can I still, hmm, what am I going to do with this area? Uh, I wonder if I should kind of make it like a platform city. Do I want to make it a raised platform city where it's above the water line? So like you have to go up to the platforms. Like the platforms aren't just like you have this, which is kind of like right at the, what would be this water line? Not quite the water line that I've established uh, here. Hmm. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I think I could probably put a base layer, put walking tunnels underneath it, get power underneath it. Yeah, I'll do a base layer, which is at the what would be the reasonable height. And this is going to have some gaps because I can't I don't think I can build platforms above uh, source blocks. And that can make this like, a, you know, like it has the gaps are, uh, you know, a kind of more of a circle. And this is where the water pumps for Pinnacle are going to be. Yeah, let me. Let me get some of that going for these guys. Cool. Uh, building lacks power. That's fine. That building was always going to lack power. This is the way that it works. This stuff is still draining. I, I might actually be able to hold up with just the, the little extension I've done. Might be able to hold up for this drought. That's good. Then I just need this stuff to get going. So I can get some more power generation. This is... Come on, guys. I have seven bots. And I don't really have any places for them. So I might actually make some bot hauling posts. Or a bot hauling post. Where am I going to put a bot hauling post? Kind of sneak it here with these oaks. Yeah, I might do that. I might go three, get that, get that all chopped out. Well, actually, I don't need, don't need that one chopped out. At least not for now. I also kind of want to think of, I don't think there is any like, yeah, there are benches. Okay, benches, shrubs, lanterns, Um, maybe even the braziers. I was trying to think of like, what would be a cool decorative way to make a, uh, Almost look like a cafe area after I get the uh, coffee thing in there. After I get the coffee brewery. Uh, what was I doing? I was getting a hauling post that is bots. And this is going to be a bottom priority for work. So I already have eight. And let me get this path over here. So I have this path up here. And I wonder if I should blow. I say I wonder if I should as I am just going to do it. Just gonna blow out here, make a stair that goes up here so that I have kind of a loop around. Almost two days left. Yeah, I think all of these new additions is splitting the power needs pretty good around all of my power storage. Where it's not really gonna be that big of a, you know, I, I think I could build a few more. I know what I have here. I mean, we just make a little bit more of an extension and that should be enough store power to deal with with that for the foreseeable future. And then let me go here and let me uncrop all that. That way it can germinate and spread naturally. Well, naturally for the game. As soon as that's done, I'll delete this Forester. And then I'll have my Highland Helix Coffee. Highland Mountain Helix Coffee. Oh, I'll save. Cool. He's done his job. Uh, you're free to go probably back to a hauling post or a work, a, uh, builder set that can get boosted up just so I have that built. What my storage look like got a pretty good amount of things getting built here. Cause I, I think one of the bigger reasons again, why I went with smaller storage for all the bot stuff is again, this is very high demand materials, at least. It's felt that way before when I played this uh, when I play this game where like these these you know machines these uh, the bots will take a lot of resources and they'll take it pretty quickly and depending on how much you want to keep up with that it it's the demand will suck through stuff and I've had it where like I've built you know at that point usually when you're building bots you're at the part where you're building large warehouses. So I will usually build large warehouses to like store all the parts and to store everything I need. And then I'm just like, 
sucking through my materials. Um, and like these uh, bot assemblers can only keep up to a certain amount. Like you'll get to whatever is the number. I, I don't really remember what it is when you're like efficiently building. So as soon as you like switch over to all of these being bots, you're efficiently producing and creating bots to a number in which they begin to break down. So like each one will only produce a certain number of bots that will like kind of maintain itself. I don't know if that made any sense, but the little ramble I had right there. Um, so like one, one assembler will only go so far. And then when you build two assemblers, I believe you like outrace what your factories could produce or your factory. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't remember what that like. Again, I don't really look into the numbers. It was more of like a gut feeling that I get when I've played the game before. Um, but yeah, this is connected and I can start continuing to chew through this, this side of the mountain to get to more canola producing. That's kind of one of my big drop offs. And I could definitely do something about like over here, right? You know, get rid of this medical bed and put stairs so I get to this area faster. But I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really rushing, rushing this or rushing the game um, at all. Although I probably should again for the entertainment factor. Uh, yeah, out of the drought, still have plenty of power and a lot of my and my storage units so i don't think i necessarily need to keep pushing the priority up for this guy but i probably should for this stuff probably should get this this area done as quick as possible the new additions let me actually also get uh this little this little section up again it's not this isn't like an efficiency thing um necessarily it's more of just a uh, routing thing for me where like i want to have multiple access points from multiple pathing points i'm going to lose efficiency by having one block open where they can't um they can't draw from uh they, they can't i can't put like continue like squeeze in as much space for these water wheels as possible but i kind of want this path so that the beavers can get access to this area and start kind of, you know, going up this path, going up this path, whatever the, the logic, whatever the logic um, uh, deems for them, uh, depending on which part of the map they're coming from. And again, there's probably better, more efficient ways of doing it. If I actually care to like do any kind of math or do any kind of like, you know, looking at how the uh, the AI solves pathing problems or whatever, but or even just like analyzing movement by just kind of looking at them. But I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to go with gut feelings and just kind of plopping stuff out there. Speaking of plopping stuff out there, um, I think what I might do is actually get also again, they're not going to be building this anytime soon because I have so many things that I've been telling them to build. Um, I think I might get some swimming areas around here. Can I build the swimming pool kind of over this path? Uh, if I go like this, and then I get the well-being, I cannot. So it won't be that side. It'll be this side. I can get some nice little swimming pools for them. So swimming. Get your swimming in. Oh, it's only three wide. Uh, I got confused with the Lido. And they'll get to that when they get to it. Uh, let me get another one in there. Right there. Coolio. Come on, you beavers. Why are you so thirsty? Get some water, man. I know I'm asking them. I'm asking you to move, you know, really far across this map. I'm asking a lot of you. I really am. And it shouldn't be fair for me to demand you to like do this quicker but i am and i'm going to so i don't know tough shit uh <laughs> let me see if i could get let me actually delete this little oh the thought that just crossed my head is i kind of want to see if i can connect the like i don't think this is going to be any any amount of you know time saving but if i can get this path like this path here to come and wrap around and like meet up here 
Is that like any better? Does that solve like any pathing issues? Oh, let me let me get it in. Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of like connects my area a little bit better. Does this not even like collect that much bad water anymore? This guy should be good. I mean, yeah, they're collecting bad water. Am I just using it up? Maybe as soon as this extract gets full, I'll start saving my bad water. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let me see. Let me try to. I think I could get a little jump cut. How long does this take to? Oh, they're still, they're still gonna take a minute before those are nice, full, and healthy. Um, yeah, I think I might get a little jump cut in right now, and I'll see you guys on the other side of it. All right, back. Not any big uh, progress updates, at least in, in terms of the big, um, the big water tower project. But I just saw that I probably could finish this up a little sooner i might want to already get stairs to kind of make it go up and over and around i think building down will probably be faster let me get that go up that area kind of get stairs to come up and over and around can i reach that no okay oh i have some i have some uh coffee that's growing a little leak out right here spill out into my trees doesn't seem to last very long same thing over here yeah, it should be all right i have what a couple more days before i have some coffee that's starting to grow uh, out of energy bots heading over to my charging stations i wonder if i should get some more because i do have a buttload of bots now let me get rid of all of that let me get another you know work i'm not necessarily a hauling post i could get another i don't know why i always say work instead of builder's hut i always say like i want to i want to say like worker's hut but it is not a worker's hut it is a builder's hut oh this can get this has all been set that can all go I'm gonna need to get rid of this. I only pause it so that they uh, don't make the dumb decision to cross over and get stuck on this little pillar of land. And then let me get the path up here and get the builder's hut, the bot builder's hut up and going. So bottom priority, up in priority for it's building. This can get blown. That can get blown. That goes like yet. This is going to be stairs up there. And I will go like this. No, go like this. And then like this. And then go like this across. And across like this. And 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 like this. Why I'm doing this accent, I do not know. But it is an accent that I choose. That I choose to do now. Um, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Coolio, coolio, coolio. Uh, <laughs> out of grease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, who, why are y'all so thirsty? Good Lord. I get it. There's a lot of attractive people on TikTok. I get why you would be so thirsty but there are huge tanks of water here large massive tanks of water just take some sips i know i'm making you run around the whole map but like drop something off and take a sip bro like it's not that hard like it's right there i want to make you go even further i want to have the water tank thing over here and then like you know i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to store the water but like they're going to be pumping up top if I can have a tank up there, probably have, you know, just for your benefit, have a couple tanks at the bottom, but like, you know, it's going to be even further away from stuff. So like, I don't know, dudes, you guys, you guys need to figure your stuff out. Okay. It's not my job for you to figure your stuff out. I could put some waters, like, you know, 
some other places, but you know, it's gonna be somebody's job to move water to from here to there. Might as well just go to, the, to where the water is and drink it. Gosh, Jilly G Willikers, you guys are incorrigible. Cool. I should have a lot more of these guys popcorn in. There we go. Oh, I thought you were about a popcorn. Come on. There we go. There we go. Look at you. Look at you with your coffee fruit. Um, it's probably not worth it to get the gatherer going just yet. I'm probably going to put the storage of that up here. The storage of the coffee. Probably right there. I'll make this for coffee. Where do I put the coffee? There are coffee beans. Coffee beans will go up there as soon as I start storing them. And then the brewery is probably gonna go up here too, maybe. I don't know, I need power for it. Do I like draw power from this side? Or do I just make the coffee kind of free floating on the river around here? Like the coffee's on stilts. Kind of pull off from here make this a T intersection and then have like set up some benches and some bushes and little statues make this a nice little picturesque area where the beavers get their coffee yeah I think I'll probably do that I'll probably do that um wait for more beans to grow uh I also need to get the keep forgetting about the other things that I keep thinking about that I want to do just get lost in my trains of thought uh let's get that blown up go across here maybe i can get some or at least one more uh charging station right here pulling power off of this oil press about filling in this little gap can't really do that over here not really many other little gaps like that. I don't think they can actually pull power from either side there. I have this stuff. I have these little like funky gaps from the number cruncher that I often use to do charging stations, but I don't really have a road that gets down to here. The charging needs road access. Hmm. Should be fine. Should be fine. Let me actually get this whole area the higher priority let me see yeah, it's already yellow by the time it gets here it's essentially the same color that here from this spiral so i don't think this is actually going to save me much in terms of pathing could always create more like storage of the material they need kind of closer that could definitely be a thing is if i just kind of like <laughs> up along here you know, I probably could and should do that. Um, I probably can't do large in order to make it like really fit well, because the I don't it's not, I don't have middle access. Just kind of have this ledge out access. But maybe if I do, hmm, if I do like that, and then I just build medium where no, I can't not medium warehouses. I need. The industrial piles so i would need okay let me give me time to think about this but it's not a bad thing that my brain went to i don't know if i should just build it all the way at the top here just for go trying to go up the spiral just up at the top have you know you know i think that that might be where i end up going Okay, if this like so obviously speeds up my building progress, I'm not going to be as upset, just going to be annoyed at myself for not doing it sooner. <laughs> it's just going to be one of those things where I'm like, dang it, you know, could have done that way earlier. Um, God, you guys really with the hunger and the thirst. You have so much food and so much water available to you. It's really hurting your productivity. You're just getting hungry and thirsty like that. Uh, let's get another another bot hauler up and going. Oh yeah, this whole thing. Forgot about you. Hmm. 
Okay. Did these going? Uh, shouldn't they take them too long to build the stilts? This is going to be one of the bigger things. Uh, oh, I can also detonate down this little, these little pockets. Get more power stored into them. I wonder if these are, yeah, those are good to go. Could I build? Nope. No two. I want it. That's the lowest I can go. Right there. Keep that in mind when I'm blowing down is that's the lowest point of the map. Okay. It is really not great that I am 11 days into this cycle and this still hasn't pulled out of the ground. That is not good. How's this looking? I still needs to get all the materials for it. I still need to get that stuff up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not great. Not great. Still struggling to build up. Ooh, let me get my coffee going. See, I got little buds. Little bud of spread right there. A couple here, a couple there, one there. Let me get this also up in priority. Oh, I'm at, I'm out of logs. Oh, okay. I did not see that. Let me chop up all of those mangroves chop up that little bit i did not notice that no wonder progress has been slow or it feels i i, I got the sense that progress was slowing down for some of this stuff i have completely chewed through my wood resources uh i mean i have a ton of logs here Let's gather that up while I start thinking about the next step in terms of um, where am I going to build more logging? I don't necessarily want to log this stuff out because this is for the, my resin. I wonder if I do here on this side where I have my coffee over here. I just have like a little oak forest over here. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to expand my logging efforts. I could have, I mean, Pinnacle doesn't have the best access to wood or like space to grow wood. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with Pinnacle. I mean, it could be everything outside of the platforms could be forested areas. Ha 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 ha. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, let me get this other bot, this other bot um, hauling post in place. Oh, yeah, this isn't this isn't going to be a big or this isn't going to be an immediate solve to my wood problems, but it's going to start to help the issue. Like get a hmm, what what is going to be the best way to put you? I mean, that's not even that much. Not really even that much real estate to put a big, you know, logging area. Kind of would want it like a flatter spot. I mean, I could use this area here or maybe even this area, but I kind of want to do the whole big dam project. Uh huh. What happened to my water? Hmm. Could harvest a lot of this wood that's kind of just here waiting to get harvested. Like all the dead, dead wood areas. What is this looking like? This all gets bad water. It's not getting bad water now because of the way I'm shunting off the bad water. Uh huh. This might need another pump, considering it's not even really pulling in all of the water it can. Oh, this could get deleted. I stopped needing that guy. Oh, did I never even link? All right. Well, that could have been extraordinarily silly. Um,. Well, I mean, in terms of if I didn't notice that it was not attached to anything. Well, this could go to this guy. And this is going to be contamination detecting. It'll be, again, the whole one, one. And at lower than one, it's at zero. Higher than one, it's at three. Um, yeah, that could have been extraordinarily disastrous, especially considering the bad tide just happened. I didn't bother checking that. Um... Yeah, this could get another pump in here. And probably go right here. If I get here. If I build another 
deep mechanical fluid pump. Oh, I need to have it be able to shuck up water. So you can drop power, but I'm going to need to kind of, we need to disconnect all of this whole business so that I can kind of dig out a little cove for it. Could bridge power kind of awkwardly around to here. So it's pulling water from this area. Uh huh. Why does the power or what is the water? Uh, maybe just this is just too high. Need more flow. Hmm. Yeah, you know, putting things up and then not like double checking how well they're working is probably not the the best route for things. Is this also not like? Oh yeah, da 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 da. Why am I confused? I have I have a minimum of wood that I'm uh, currently uh, lacking. I need more wood and I'm still struggling to find a place to uh, gather said wood to make said wood. You know what? I am just going to, at least for now, let me get the path come up and over like that. Okay. A little pocket for my forester. The forester will go there. This is all going to be oak. So let me get some oak planted up here. Let me get this guy. I'm going to need to get space for a foresters probably. And let me get another teeth grindstone. So I remembered it this time. Uh, and then this could probably get, this could all get dynamited down. Let me actually also save a spot to get path going there. I think I'm going to do up here too. I'll get another forester to come up here and turn all of this into into land to get planted uh land to get planted and chew down uh yeah he's going up in priority let me set this for oak as well all of this gets oaked up get me oaked up okay go down and i'm gonna need a forester forester and i'll set a teeth grindstone over there so teeth grindstone right there those two little spots for foresters just going to kind of create as much little pockets of tree growth that i can no wonder i should have as soon as i saw them placing dynamite i should have immediately grown like suspicious or like cautious that something was off because they shouldn't have been able to they should have you know, their job should have been taking care of, uh, you know, getting everything else uh, done. And I had this little pocket of oak and I just kind of deleted them because I didn't think I needed it. Um, but I think I'm going to get this finally chewed away because uh, I'm kind of I'm not in desperate need of, of all of it, but I'm also like I could use it. And I kind of, I kind of do, kind of do need it a little bit. I need to keep up with the demands of wood that I have. So currently just my, my ability to produce has not followed up with my demands. Part of it is, you know, huge projects, um, requires tons of wood. Uh, so I am sucking through my wood resources. Oh yeah. Also this, of, of duh, the bat tide is going to help me check. Uh, this is going to be test 3.0 of my bad tide system. Um, I wonder if I should even go lower on this guy. Do 1.5. Seems to be... And its basic timer could be... Uh, so when drought ends, its height is 1.5. Uh, when drought starts, it's at 2.5. When bad tide ends, it's at uh, 1.5. When bad tide starts, it'll be at 2.5. So essentially during temperate season, it is at uh, 1.5. I feel like I'm getting blockages and lockups. Okay, cool. Now let's see if all this is going to work how I want it to work. Yeah, this got... This got detected, switch 
This got detected and switched. This will get detected. Oh, yeah, this guy is on contamination above. This should, there you go. Whew, that got me a little, a little spook. And then when it gets close to this guy, gates raise up. Should send my contaminated water down the pathway. Cool. So this is working. The bad tide started, so this got jacked up to 2.5, which is holding back a good amount of water. And then when the bad tide ends, it'll lower a little bit. Probably help flush out the water that's here, the bad tide that's here. Cool. This also definitely does need the second pump. I think I am just gonna do the weird, the weird, you know, convoluted way of going about it. Um, probably better ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way because I don't know. I feel like it, uh, essentially I'm going to do, nope, not that platform. Go like this. I'm going to build this first, then this, then this guy, then that one, that one, that one, and then that one. And more than likely... They're going to build that wrong. I'm going to get a stuck beaver and they're going to have issues, but we will see. Uh, cool. I have 14. Good Lord. I am I'm finding it hard to keep up with my, my bot production. Uh, they're chewing up wood over there. These guys are still not done yet. Uh, my foresters need wood to get themselves going these guys are doing their bit of business could plant more mangroves so mangrove in here and apparently over here as well and then one more one more line of mangroves cool yep i did not notice that uh i'm gonna need to get this probably probably just need to get destroy one so i can get a stair down here so i can get a logger chewing on that stuff um, kind of these, also these existing piles, I can maybe get a logger to come over for these lo existing like areas of forestation. Oh God. I just realized I didn't put it back to three. What's my power looking like? Oh, I mean, that is okay. I forgot about that. I was a little worried about my, um, uh, my power storage at the end of the season, but I forgot that this will work for bad tides as well. Again, part of the benefit of building on this little bad tide storage is uh that i can use the uh the bad tide season to generate power too i don't think any more power it's just the same amount of power that i would be generating on a regular season um what's my water height level or at bad water height level wondering i saw that this has a 50 50 drop from everyone else it's, it is more than likely because of this little dam for my uh, excess outflow. Hmm. <laughs> also, you know, maybe when I build this little, what I might end up doing is kind of this have like a branching path right here where the water will continue or the wheels will continue to move out and then curve around here. But I also might have it so that like I have a branching path that kind of comes out and wraps around. Mm, try to capture this water, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. I got bots out of juice. Cool. They're collecting their beans. Got the coffee beans. Hand picked coffee. You only want the best. We only want the best for Highland Helix coffee. And what could be better? Then hand picked, hand prepared by only the few bravest and strongest beavers. Because what do you want in the morning? You only want the finest coffee. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of coffee commercials. I don't know what the, what what's the how do they try to sell coffee to you? Is it like uh you know that nice deep soothing voice? That makes you feel like somehow if you drink this coffee, you're going to feel as calm and as soothing as the voice that's telling you to drink the coffee. 
Is that how they sell you? Or is it like a pow, drink coffee now? What are you doing? You need the energy, energy, energy. Or is it like, is there a coffee establishment that's like, like super realistic about it? Like, hey, you know, drink our coffee. You want to know why you want to drink our coffee? Because it tastes all right. It's not that bad. You're going to put milk and sugar in it. But also, you won't get that headache because you're you're ingesting caffeine. Um, so drink it to avoid the headache of not having caffeine in your system because you've drink you've gotten too used to coffee. You need it now. And because you need it, we don't need to try hard. Here, drink it. Drink it up, bozo. <laughs> I think I would buy that coffee if I had, if there was a coffee company that was just like, Hey, it's good. You're going to put milk and sugar in it anyway. It doesn't need to be that great. Drink it. Cause you need it. Also, if they were like, Hey, you know, it's also like, you know, we don't exploit, you know, labor as much as the other guys do. Like we still do, but like, we pay them a couple pennies more. Then I'll be like, all right, at least you're trying. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who, what am I talking about? I don't know. I've read a few articles. I don't know what any of it is. I'm just talking about my butt. Um, anyways, what was that whole t What What did that have to do with anything? What did that have to do with Timberborn and beavers and building things out of wood? Good Lord. Uh, I'm planting trees. Trees are being planted. That's going to take so much time. And this also doesn't stay hydrated. I could go up one more level with these levees. And considering that I'm already lower... Then the level it's at cool i'm just gonna go ahead and trash all this i'm gonna trash this too i'm gonna go one more level higher just for that little bit of uh oh god why'd you do that okay like that i don't need to get that gives me access to the top oh god why did I... good lord uh I need to get this to be a levy, levy, and the rest of this could be dams. I know I'm I'm hurting for wood. I'm just making big wood projects. I think I'm gonna get somebody over here to start gnawing on logs. So let's get a, a lumber man over here, so that at least they could provide for their wood here. Let me get rid of this little bit. Okay. This guy should be chewing that up pretty well. Do I have a... Oh, yeah, I have a teeth grinder in this district. Yeah, I'm going to need the water level just a little bit higher. Just so that I can keep this level hydrated. At least one more. Cool. That's going to still take forever. Do I have any excess logs anywhere? This is full of planks. That needs logs. I mean, I have all of these. Ah, there's not, that's not like too crazy. Uh, continue to detonate this power storage down. Probably could do that for these as well, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, huh. Yeah, I could have them come over to these pines to gather them up. Hmm. How's this looking? They're still chewing that. Uh, yeah, I think I might just do this real quick. Just get a stair there, stair there. Just to get... I need wood now. I'm just going to try to see if I can gather up all of this pine that's grown up here. Is it just that one little layer? Cool. Let me get... Forester here. I will up, up, and up that. Yeah, it's definitely caused a big delay in a lot of the 
projects is not having the wood that I'm going to need to build projects. So I might uh, maybe skip forward until I have some of these oaks that are harvestable. Um, Cause like, I, you know, this is still growing and I'll still be able to like gather wood from these areas. Um, but it's definitely not going to be, but even chop this. Oh yeah, I can't chop it. What's his limit? Might as well set this little bit to get chopped. Considering my gatherer can't reach, can't reach those areas. Um, yeah, I might do that. And I kind of don't want to put start making the the little coffee area over here. Nothing to do in range. What do you mean you got nothing to do in range? There you, there you go. You have all this wood to here to chop. Bots are out of energy. Ah, yeah, my my little. Uh, I mean, this can still pull off power, so I will pull from. What what does it take to build the charging stations? It doesn't take any logs. It takes gears. My gears are draining pretty quickly. I don't know if that's from building the actual because these are forty gears a piece. From building that, or if it is just like gear drain. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let me. I cannot reach that. Hmm. 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 And then they should be able to reach this area from that level. I'm just gonna go ahead and start blowing that up. Hmm. 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 Okay. 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 Wow, bots out of energy is 13. I think I am just going to bite the bullet and just get a whole mess of charging stations up. Let me pause that so I'm not losing too much time. Let me up that in priority. So they get, let me up that even more in priority. So I get that built quickly. So I have 12 that are out of power. Oh, is that little... Oh, that little area is done. So let me get rid of these platforms. Let me collect this wood and then get the new large wheel here. It should be collected there or connected there, not collected there. Uh, that is going to take a lot of planks and wood. Oh, that drained out. Okay. That opened up after it's cleared. That still hasn't opened up. Hasn't cleared out yet. Get the flow of water in there. Uh, they are still building this over here. Uh, where's this logger that I put over here? Uh, he's still chewing up all this stuff. Uh, Wado's making his way around. Cool, cool, cool. Stuff is still not getting where it needs to go. Okay. Again, not the best decisions I've ever made. Trying to get all this stuff working. Where is this at? Okay, this whole line of charging stations is up. I am down to two beavers without power or that are low on energy. Hopefully that deals with that situation. As soon as these guys get... Oh, this little thing needs needs to get built. Where's my oak situation up here? God, these are still still wee babies. Still gonna take a long time before those oaks catch up. Well, these oaks just grew up. These oaks are almost all cut down. Uh, going through these pines, I am at sixty-two. I think I'm going to pause this man's when he has all that wood collected. Yeah. He's gonna go chop over here, but I don't I don't need him to chop over there. I have plenty of choppers over there. Uh maybe those two trees will repopulate this oak area. Hmm. Okay. Get that all blown out. Let me get a stair there. And I'll get a uh stair there. Don't know if they'll be able to reach that. They might be able to reach that okay yeah this place has been sending all of its wood 
over. I don't know if I should get this other lumberjack up. I think this place probably been doing the same thing. Yeah, it has no logs, but it also has project that needs to build with those logs. Yep, I'm gonna have full coffee pretty soon. A little flooded out over here. This is back to being being able to grow. Yeah, just a little a little bit of a wood shortage kind of got me got me a little mixed up. God, I have so many bots. I do not need this many bots, man. Like it's a I'm gonna go down one bot in my assembler. I think these are already pretty much gonna be in power saving mode. I think you've kind of filled up for the most part, you're gonna fill up your storage. Uh yeah, I do not need that many bots. And slow down that production. I could get another, you know, another uh, hauling post in here. Probably should get another hauling post in here just to make use of it. Uh, go here and low. Make use of the, the extra bots that I have. Man, oh man, it's a lot of bots. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, that's already built. I'm just waiting on wood. Wood is my shortage. Uh, yeah, I could just can't really do nothing about that. Our water really has, I'm still generally keeping the, the whole Helix Mountain going. Um, but yeah, all the dams are kind of causing little ripples in my water flow. So it isn't very consistent coming down here. Uh, I probably should also expand my power generation here but you know it's gonna take forever that for them to get to this just because again my wood shortage yeah, i might i might skip to i don't think anything interesting is really going to happen at least not not right now not for a little bit until i get some of these uh oaks growing up so i might skip over to that i might skip over to uh that's gonna be 30 days hmm well i mean i don't really have much of a choice i'm just gonna have to wait all right i'll see you guys on the other side of, a, of another time skip another time jump all right uh welcome back from that little trip that i took you know started continuing to do all of the other things where uh continuing to uh blow out this area continuing on you know moving my foresters to continue to cut or cut uh access to more wooded areas continuing to blow away areas like this so just doing the general maintenance uh also my father wadi wheel came in for some reason i have one less horsepower that's generating than any of the other wheels um don't exactly know why uh why it would be doing that but it is um still not still nowhere near getting any of my uh oak my new oak plantings to be fully grown yet but just wanted to give you a little bit of a progress report a little progress update of the different things that i'm doing also I was about to set in the the canola plants i didn't necessarily have to talk to you guys about that or have to like show you directly um oh yeah the other thing too that i wanted to show you is i'm generating almost 2000 horsepower plus over my demand because I've filled my storage of all my parts. So my, uh, my bot factories are all in power saving mode. So I'm generating a lot of power. So I'm getting a lot of storage of power, uh, going. And then, you know, once they come online for f after a bot gets created, I have to follow this. Cause I, I put this down to one bot. But I think I'll be fine. I have like way more bots than I wanted. I didn't want this many bots, especially considering for like what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, like it's good. Like I'm, I'm okay with having a lot of bots. It's fine. Um, but I don't think I really needed them. Uh, especially right now that hold on. My cat is struggling. Uh huh. You're the one who decided to sleep on my shoulder. I'm recording. So you have to figure this stuff out. Uh huh. You going to cry again? Just lay down. I'm going to be talking to the mic. You got to start getting used to that. Okay. She's figured her stuff out. Okay. All right. Now I can blow that out. Blow this little line up. And let me set my new canola plant in area. 
might as well get the do i even need eggplant what's eggplant looking like over here i have 1.2k eggplant i don't gotta worry about eggplant at all or i can still use cassava and calrobe the algae that's algae uh no calrobe so might as well just put the rest of this little block area as canola i can continue to grow more cassava let me get this little area blown out so it can get so a little bit more canola and then do i I'll probably want to get another set of farmers down here another farmhouse right there uh what is that gonna do i'm already pretty low on available workers i wonder if i hmm because <laughs> i have two i don't need two pumps so that gives me one other worker if this doesn't need to be four i'm gonna take up two workers coming into this farm and really two lumberjacks keeps up too well with the level of um the level of wood that i actually need in this area i just wanted to kind of dig out the rest of that so it can go back to the main main branch yeah hopefully that's fine that'll give me still some amount of workers to do the uh, scrap hauling i'm not on scrap over here too maybe i need to get another district going over here it's going to be my my industrial or my metal my metal gathering district hmm man so many things so many things to take care of so many things to watch over i mean what was my big metal draws is all this stuff and my bots but considering i've got most of that already taken care of maybe my metal will fill up back in storage and then my scrap will start filling back up in storage yeah it's probably fine probably fine you know that that's the thing is that like trying to keep up with when i you know i have big projects that i'm demanding a lot of resources for and so of course my supplies are going to go low so do i overbuild to meet that high demand okay hold on we can get rid of that guy and if i do overbuild to meet that high demand then when that high demand is over it's, you know just a bunch of excess stuff which doesn't necessarily hurt so it's not it's not like a bad thing to have like too many resources unlike uh i don't know if anybody watching at all watched my the water beaver overhaul uh content that i put out in there when you have too much of re too many of a resource uh it can often be a hindrance depending on the resource you're gathering because it when you have too much of a certain resource it blocks your ability to you no longer need to create more resource and part of creating the resource gives you another resource that is like branches off to other resources that you need so like once you fill up your storage of something and you don't have the use for it it starts creating this like cascading like effect where your a way to think about it would be for um an example would be planks so you're cutting planks to make sawdust sawdust makes like dynamite a couple of other things um so if you fill up on your plank storage you're no longer making sawdust so your sawdust can't get be can't be used to make the various products that sawdust use so too many resources uh and not being able to fulfill the use of them um or you have backlog can be bad in that version of the game that's not this version of the game and regular timberborn having too many resources is fine nothing ever really like blocks you from making any other thing um i hope that rap made any any amount of sense god i have 12 bots i really don't like i don't really want to keep making you know little spots for them for them to to work more but i kind of kind of have to i did do a little bit of a funky business here i could just easily have uh, brought this down and then kind of built facing this street it wouldn't be a connecting line here but at least it would have been better use better utilization of the the area uh whatever whatever is fine it's fine i can put something there i can make it pretty do something pretty there 
Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Still, still wood being my biggest, my biggest resource that I'm lacking right now. A little struggle. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I got another water wheel in. My power is being stored. I, this is no longer an issue. Uh, at the end of the last episode, this was kind of the, the big thing to work on was gathering power and storing it. I think I've already hit an equilibrium with some of the stuff that I'm producing, where it's not really a, a big problem. I put in more canola, so that should get that should start feeding the main district with more canola seeds, so they can make more canola oil, so I can get more grease and more canola oil. So that should be going. Planted some new foresting areas to get more wood because i've kind of sucked up my wood demand more than likely because i have so many bots probably the reason why i suck through all my wood is i have all of these bots who are just like even more cre you know taking my stuff and moving it to where you know i want stuff to get built and also a lot of the high wood demand that all this stuff is so I just suck through my wood stores and also probably wasn't paying attention i was probably pretty low on wood for a while I just wasn't seeing, I wasn't paying attention to the drain in it. Um, but yeah, as soon as these go up, this should probably help stem the bleeding of my wood demand. I think I might actually, what are these looking like? No, these still have plenty of workers. I was going to say with all of the new foresters, I may, I may be able to switch out some of my existing hauling posts for a uh, robo hauling posts. Uh, I don't know. We'll get there. But yeah, I think this will be, this will be the episode. We get a nice little thumbnail. Ooh, daylight too. Thumbnail, you can see the new little, oh God, what happened? <laughs> My camera really just decided to go all the way over there for some reason. Uh, the drought started. You can see the update to the power tower you can see the new little the new little forest area I see a little bit of dynamite over here yeah this is a good little thumbnail i like this thumbnail um all right i will see you guys in the next episode i hope you had fun yeah see you in the next one bye